Right folks, I'm at a junction point at the Fords, the meeting of the Fords. Just over there I could go up Frog's Coombe and come out by the Solo Tree. If I carried on along here I would, would miss the hill fort which is up there and I'd walk th at the base of the hill fort and come out near the car park. Okay? But my plan today, that's why I set off early, it's ten past ten already. Look at those lovely trees, look. You just zoom into them, aren't they gorgeous? I've got to backtrack. I said, do you want to backtrack? Because basically I've got to go back like that and then up. Whereas if I go that way, I'll already be there. But I said I would do this way. So that's what I'm doing. And I decided to come down where it was easier. I didn't want to climb up a steep bank. I've got all day, by the way. It doesn't get dark till 8 o'clock. I was out till up past six, seven the other day. Thing is, I, want, I like completing things. It's for example, at the moment, I'm doing bits here and bits there, and it's too bitty. So it's, it doesn't get completed properly in people's heads. Look at those trees. They're gorgeous. And that's up to the hill fort. Dowsborough Hill Fort, you can see it for all over the Quandox. It's the main hill fort here. I was down there a minute ago thinking, shall I climb up that? I could have done. But I thought, no, go and take some more pictures. So once again, go over there and go up that way, which I have done before, and it's also very beautiful. And you come out by the solo tree. I've never done this path before, by the way, so it is new. But it, you do have to go back on yourself before you turn off and come on the main track that's going to take you up to the hill fort. Then you've got to do a bit more hill climbing, that's the only thing. Now down there we've got the Babbling Brook. This is the Fords. Four stream over there, stream down there, meeting. At the moment, easy to cross. Easy to cross at the moment. I'm keeping my eyes peeled for deer. The, one of the I've spotted deer. I normally do see deer. Um, and of course, in the evenings they would come down here for their top up their water levels, wouldn't they? Like I said, I've got to do this because I've not I've not done it before. So this is what I'm doing. And people who want a quick walk round, say they park further up there and they don't want to do the fort, they would come down here, go to over there and perhaps go up Frog's Coombe. See what I mean? There's different circulars you can do. But this is a well maintained pathway, isn't it? Keeps you out of the ferns. Like I said before now, I found myself weaving in and out all this sort of stuff when I got, not lost, but the track would suddenly peter out. You know, it would start like this, and before you know it, it's thin. So anyway, I want to do this. This is Sheila. I think it's the 29th of August 2024. We're waiting for a little great little boy to be born. My great grandson's taking his time. He's letting us all have a bit of sunshine, especially his mother and my daughter Jolene, who's, who will be a grand for the first time. <sighs> they can enjoy a bit more sunshine. Not saying she, they won't enjoy it when he comes, but they are busy. You're busy when you've got a baby. <sighs> they need feeding every, well, all the time. Um, yeah. I feel, like I said, I keep saying it, but I feel so blessed today, and I feel blessed that that person I met, and I only met her for an hour and ten minutes, I call her the hour and ten minutes woman, and, uh, but you can, you can know someone for 60 years and not feel that spirit, you see what I mean? You can know someone for a minute and feel it. And I said to her straight away, something on those lines, I felt something. 
I'm not talking about sex either. I'm talking about a feeling for somebody's spirit. I can't explain it really. It doesn't happen to me very often in my life. Um, oh God, look at that. We've got to go all the way up there, girl. Yes, all right. Go on, just do it. It turns off in a minute and then you'll be going up there. No, it's cool in here anyway. Now, when I was um, busing and training, you know, going on buses and trains, which I know will happen again one day, uh, part of my kids have helped me out at the moment uh, to give me mobility. Well, I can because you know, my age, they're cutting, but I passed my eye test really well. Um, to be quite honest, I don't really need glasses, at all. but I do. I do need them for computer and uh, you know things like that. And and it's a bit sharper if I have them on while I'm driving. Um, he didn't say I had to wear them though. I tried to get him for two hundred and forty quid out of me for a pair of multifocals with some tint on it. He said they did a big test at the back of the eye. But they look at the whole globe of your eye. And um, he said it was good. He said there's a, just a tiny, tiny patch on my right eye of maybe cataract. Um, but very tiny. I mean, my grandmother, who lived to 101, she, um, she had her eyes done in her 80s or 90s. See? <laughs> so I've got a while yet. Anyway, what I was saying about tra buses and trains, if I now, if I, I wouldn't, I could never, unless I left on a very, very, very early train and managed to link up with a very early bus, which was not always straightforward, I'd never be able to fit this length of walk in. What I missed when I had to do there's so much anxiety, um, you'll hear my voice when I'm bussing, as compared to now, and as compared to when I had my van. Um, I had to watch the clock. I had to watch it, and I knew that there was not time. I had to cut some walks short, like big, or rush them. So I, I'm making a note of this because I'm making the most of what I've got at the moment. Increased mobility through my children. They did a very, very beautiful thing for me. And um, I, I really do thank them for it. Especially Jolene and Zara, who uh, organised a lot of it and paid for a lot of it. Oh dear, look at that lovely scene. A lovely little gnarled avenue of Quantock trees. And of course, Quantock is short for Cantock, or Cantock is short for Quantock, and it means pathway. And Cantock is a little pathway. This is a medium sized one, so I don't know if you'd call this a Cantock. The little paths that go off, cantocks, that the animals make, the deer and the sheep. Yeah, we're getting there. Look, so I can see light. It's, no, it's fine. I don't mind. I was aware of this path, but I never, I met it when I was coming from a different direction up there once. And uh, I'd made a note of it for another day, another time. But like I said today, okay, it's 20 past 10. We're climbing uphill. But I know where I am and I know where I'm going. And I know at the moment I'm making use and most of the shade. I've got my hat, if necessary. I have to, you have to wear long trousers and tuck your socks in, I'm afraid. Um, the last time I wore shorts, I got attacked by 13 ticks. That's the ones I found. 
I always carry some repellent, which I don't use unless I have to, because although it's biological, not chemical, it does seem to um, not help my um, my breathing. So I t if I feel anything, I want to spray it around my shoes and ankles, and perhaps a bit on the back of my neck. I don't write really like doing it at all. Tell the truth, and it stinks as well. But if you feel you've been attacked, get it out. And that's not the strong one. I don't even carry the strong one. I'd keep the strong one for when I got home. Unless I was going away, of course. It's the strong chemical that will kill anything, including you, if you have too much of it. Every now and again I see some large ants. This is real ant country and they love it here because you've got the berries. I haven't seen one since I said. Right folks, we're nearly at the top so I'm going to turn off again. And then I'll come on again soon. I think this might be part three, over right. and out. Just not right at the top yet, but there's a lovely view here, which you miss, if you take it from the top, you actually miss the slope. And of course I've done, I've been over there, I've done, I've done all this in the past, loads of times, and look at that. And you, do you know what that big hill is up there? Higher hair nap, but you can't see. At the moment, you can't see the stones. That's why I'll be climbing in October. I'll be over there. But coming up the back, that's all I'll be doing. But look at this. Isn't this gorgeous, everybody? Look at it. So gorgeous. Just met three girls going by. Carrying hardly anything. They're just carrying, what well, anyone's carrying a bag. Anyway, I've had a swig of water, I've had a drink of a drink of something. Um, drink of water. Oh, I've had a little bit of chocolate before it melts. Galaxy. Just to give me a little boost. I mean, for breakfast this morning, I had crumpets and yogurt. I do like crumpets, actually. They line the stomach well. But they can give you indigestion. But I've got a good, some good crumpets. Oh, God, look at that. It's even better than when I was out here two weeks ago. But I would say... I would say the gorse is dominating. First time I've seen it so dominant. Maybe it'll fade soon, I don't know, but look at it. Look at that. Haven for bees, isn't it? And the smell doesn't give me asthma. The fragrance, the natural fragrance, folks. Oh, it's lovely. It's beautiful, beautiful fragrance. And there's the Hillsborough Hill Fort over there. It's not really far to go. As I said, just met three very young women, maybe in their 20s. They could be in their 30s. I mean, they could be in their 40s. You can't tell with certain age groups, can you? I think once you get to my age, it, it does start to show the lines. You know, um, I don't care anyway. I've ne I don't wear makeup, never have done. Don't like it. I, it's never agreed with me. Um, I can see lower hair nap over there, the path. There's higher hair nap over there. When we're a bit higher up, we might see the stones. Oh, beautiful, isn't it? Where, it, they, where is it there? And over there you've got um, Longstone Hill. 
Longstone Hill, Lady's Edge. I know all these hills. Isn't this beautiful? Oh, gosh, I'm so glad I'm here. I'm just videoing a bit of it, folks, because I can't get over how beautiful it is. I just hope the camera will come out. Look at it. Look at the hills. Look. Let's zoom in a bit. Zoom in over there. Isn't it gorgeous? And then zoom back. I've walked up that valley a minute ago. Holford Val Holford Coombe. Over the other side of that hill you've got a mixture of combes. You've got Somerton, Slaughterhouse, Hodder's Coombe, um, Shepherd's Coombe. You've got a Lady's Coombe, Frog's Coombe going down that way. You've got all these different combes and they're gorgeous. It's not a huge area, not really, but it's 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 a little jewel in the Somerset countryside with the Quantock Hills. I know you've got the beauty of Exmoor and all their coombs and stuff. But to me, this is it. This is beautiful. The heather's nice, look. But this year, I'd say the gorse has come out best. I say the gorse has flourished this year really has. That extra bit of um, wet weather, or whatever we had, has really brought the gorse out. <sighs> They're in real competition this year, these two. I just love it. Take some more photos, Phil. You can never take enough photos, can you? In case it clouds over. These girls are stood up there, having a break. Right, turn off for a minute. 